Hi everyone, me again. So today I want to talk to you about traffic. Why traffic? What the heck has traffic got to do with health? Well, guess what? Did you know that long commutes have a detrimental effect on our mental health and well-being, which can be carried over to our work life and our home life? Did you know that if you can get away with not driving, not commuting, long distance, in cars, you will be better off mentally. So a lot of people don't really like public transport. They don't like sitting next to each other. They don't like the grunge and the grind. They don't like the smell. They don't like the inconvenience. And they don't just like a lot of stuff to do with public transport. But with public transport, you get the opportunity to be with people. You get the opportunity to see new faces. You get the opportunity to look out of the window and see the trees and the rivers and the lakes and whatever it is that you're surrounded by. You don't get that when you're driving. You may if you're carpooling or going to work with other people. But the time we spend in a car commuting is very, very detrimental to our health and well-being. And this is because we weren't invented with the motor car. We weren't invented with the motorbike. It's something that we've decided to create through industrial revolution. We're not meant to sit down all day. We're not meant to drive, we're meant to walk. Now, I've recently had the opportunity to walk everywhere. And that's because I've broken my car and it's waiting to go into the garage. So I've had no choice but to walk everywhere and for the first three or four days it was tough really really tough I couldn't figure out how people actually can't drive or don't drive how do they actually do stuff so I've had to try and figure out how to do stuff quicker and better without a car and I've chosen to do it without public transport as well and that is because I live on a little tiny island in the middle of the Irish Sea and I can get pretty much anywhere quite fast. Well, anywhere that I'm going quite fast. So I've chosen to use that old fashioned thing that we used to use in the olden days, even before horse and cart walking. And what I've found is, even though I walk anyway, even though I go to the gym every day anyway, what I've found is, that my mental health and clarity is much better. My sleep is much better because I'm getting fresh air. I'm out in the community, I'm out in open doors. I'm out connecting my eyeballs to the sky. I'm breathing in deeply at the same time as hearing the birds chirp. I see people on the street, I can say hello. If I can see them, if I've got my glasses on, obviously if I haven't, I can't see them at all. But anyway, I'm connecting back to my roots, which is the environment. And we all need to reconnect with our environment a little bit more often. So if you have the opportunity, even if it is just once a week, walk to work, walk to the shops, go for a walk, then do it. Make the most out of this experience because I can guarantee you that you are going to feel amazing after getting back into the routine of walking most places. I'm not going to say everywhere because there's some places you can't walk but get into the pattern of behaviour of walking more. When we walk more we thrive. When we connect with nature we thrive. When we connect with our community we thrive. And when we sit in our cars, we don't connect with the community. Our stress levels rise because of road rage. You don't get that walking. So if you have the opportunity to walk instead of drive, walk. If you don't have a choice in driving, you've got to drive. Maybe you can carpool and be around people and make those connections. Maybe you colleagues at work, maybe friends and family, make some community connections because it's what keeps us alive and healthy. So that's my 
conversation with you today. Walk more and if you can, carpool or use public transport so you can build those community bonds that we so desperately need to build now. We've come away from community so much that we don't even identify as part of our community anymore. And this is a problem for us and a problem for our children and a problem for our grandchildren if we don't go back to basics and start connecting. So with that in mind, have a positive week, stay positive and thrive.